So this fiber, I would recommend going for a short forward draw. Um, because it's not like the linen strick, there will be some unevenness. You're not going to be able to spin quite such a smooth thread. But one of the things that this fibre likes, in addition to, in the same way that you would when you were spinning flax to spin linen thread, is that it likes having damp fingers to smooth it down. Now, rather than having an entire pot of water, I'd recommend going for a stamp and sponge. And you literally just bend down, dip those smoothing fingers at the front hand. And what that does is it activates the glue almost that's in the linen naturally and just helps to keep it as smooth as possible so it sticks down any of those little stray bits and pieces that are poking up and if you just feel your fingers getting dry you just reach down redamp them it doesn't take a lot just to smooth down the surface of it and it, I did do a bit of sampling earlier and I found it made a huge difference so just like with the other fibres reasonably relaxed grip with this backhand it's probably the shortest staple length out of all the fibers in the edition of the club this month um, but it's probably also the one that's the most uneven so i'll show you with the orange as well which is possibly a slightly trickier spin than the green one was it is a little bit more lumpy bumpy again it's just how it goes with natural fibres and that sometimes it's a bit like when you're shearing sheep fleeces sometimes some some are slightly better than others it's still going to make a nice smooth yarn now the advice for how to finish linen yarns because they don't do a plyback test in the same way so what you don't want is to be trying to work out how much plying twist to use based on doing that because it will not ply back properly it won't give you a very good judge so instead what you need to do is you just need to put enough plying twist in to be what would look right for a yarn of that thickness and it will handle it without ending up with balance issues in the same way that you do with wool yarns how do you know whether you're putting enough twist in you can kind of enough so that it's holding together but not so much that it goes snap so if I put too much twist into this thread what's going to happen hopefully of course it's not going to do it now is it is that actually you will snap the fibers so too much twist ends up making them go snap like that and you'll be able to look at the end and it will be tiny blunted bit I'll just dribble water into my lap like that so instead of having a sort of tapery smooth end it kind of literally goes snap and it's a tiny little straight end so that's your sign a little bit less twist